Available now on Blu-ray from Severn Films is an Italian-Spanish co-production from 1971 that I'm not sure I have heard of before this Blu-ray came out. This is The Fourth Victim, directed by Eugenio Martin, and stars Carol Baker and Michael Craig. And it is music by Piero Umilani, which I probably pronounced wrong, but he's a, one of the greats of Italian genre scores. And his score to this is is, is kind of almost worth the price of admission alone. So this is a, you know, you look at the cover and you think it's going to be a giallo. It's really not a giallo. This is really more of a psychological thriller. This is sort of along the lines of some of the things Carol Baker had done with Umberto Lenzi, which uh, is also available as a box set uh, from Severn, I believe. And this film basically... I'm not going to give you every plot point because this really depends on not knowing anything about going in. But this man has been, Michael Craig, has been accused of murdering his third wife in a row in that he three wives in a row have died early and he has collected generous insurance policies upon them. And uh, so you see him basically stand trial. The first chunk of this movie, I wasn't sure where this was going. You see this really interesting, stylishly rendered death. And then you see a trial and he gets off and he's not convicted no he gets off he's he's not convicted of the the crime of killing his third wife and then suddenly this another woman shows up in his pool one day this carol baker being very very friendly and you wonder what her motivations are because kind of everybody knows he's got three strikes or three pluses if you want to call it that in terms of not being thrown in jail for three wives dying mysteriously in a row and he doesn't look like that old a guy. I mean, he's got gray hair. He doesn't look like that old a guy. So you're thinking about how long did any of these wives last with this guy? Anyway, Carol Baker falls in love and they get married. And then it becomes this mystery as how long is she going to last? Does she have sinister motives? Is she going to find something out that really incriminates him? There's a sort of a little silly, little goofy police inspector who's always hanging around trying to basically catch Michael Craig in a lie or catch him stumbling to give away that he really did kill some of these women. And then there's this other woman who shows up wandering the grounds of the mansion where Baker has been li has been living. Backtrack a little, Carol Baker was like a neighbor in a neighboring gigantic mansion. The film is set in England, by the way. So Italian-Spanish co-production, um, dubbed, so you can listen to it in Italian with English SDH subtitles or you can watch it in English, which is what I did. I was, with, with these international co-productions, I always say, if the lead is an English speaking person, I'll, I'll watch it dubbed. And if most of the lips on everybody match, I mean, these things weren't shot with sync sound anyway. So honestly, no matter what you're listening to, you're listening to not the original performances, but a lot of times you'll get the original actors back to dub themselves. So this, the English track to me made the most sense for this, set in England and the mansion or house, if you want to be really, I don't know, generous isn't the word. It's, it's just like saying, oh yeah, I've got a little place, I, I, I keep my plane, and it's a hangar. Uh, so this is the equivalent. Her house is the same mansion that was used in Rocky Horror Picture Show and some Hammer movies. It was used in a lot of British uh, genre film for a long time. And uh, around the grounds of this house, this other mysterious woman starts lurking. So it's, it's, a, it's an interesting puzzle, this film, to put together. It, um, it takes its time, never boring, but it, it doesn't rush through it. And it's not that long a film. I think it's, it's maybe hangs somewhere around 90 minutes. But um, great transfer, great music, really cool look to it. Uh, occasionally stylish, but not flashy throughout. And it keeps you guessing. I, I might have figured it out just a little bit before it's revealed in the film. But it's a good psychological thriller mystery, I would say. This isn't the kind of thing I see myself wanting to watch over and over again, but it's certainly something that's worth seeing. And um, expanding my knowledge of what Carol Baker did in Europe in the 60s and early 70s. Go figure. Um, the extras on this are a trailer, which is not, not one of the more stylish Italian trailers. Some of them are really, like, if you know the trailers for, like, the early Argento stuff, um, some or the spaghetti westerns. They're they're like works of art in and of themselves. This is more just you know basic storyline clips. So not that not that mind blowing, but cool to have. I always like to have the trailer there. And <clears throat> there's one deleted scene which I could for, that I think was just for the Italian version, which I can see why they took out because it was a little a little on the lighter side. Whereas this film is pretty straight throughout. There's a little 
soft comedic relief here and there by the maid of the uh, main character and the police inspector, who really kind of, the police inspector really stands out as being kind of a silly character in a film that is predominantly serious and, and kind of, you know, tense. And I'm, I'm sure he was there for comedic relief, but it just, to me, felt, I, I could have done without that personally. And then there is a 15 or so minute featurette about uh, the life of director Eugenio Martin, which is really interesting. I didn't really know anything about him, and that's done by his biographer. So overall, I, The Fourth Victim is certainly worth seeing. Severin really excels, at, to me, at finding these Euro films that somehow have slipped through the cracks for me, films that I never saw in, either in a previous release or films that I never saw on video in the old days. So again, I, don't, I wouldn't call this like a lost classic or anything, but if you like the giallo, Euro, psycho thriller kind of things, this is a good one to pick up. Available on Blu-ray from Severin Films, The Fourth Victim.